The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. In The Lean Startup, Eric Ries starts by addressing a common problem faced by startups. They often fail. But why? Ries suggests that many startups struggle because they don't have a systematic way to navigate the uncertainties of building a new business. This book introduces a fresh approach that can increase the chances of startup success. Chapter 1. Start Small and Learn Quickly Traditional business planning involves creating detailed plans, but Ries argues that this can be counterproductive for startups. Instead, he suggests starting with a tiny version of your product or service called a Minimum Viable Product, MVP. This allows you to learn and adapt quickly based on real customer feedback. Chapter 2. Build, Measure, Learn The center of the lean startup is Build, Measure, Learn Feedback Loop. It's a simple yet powerful concept. First, build your MVP. Then, measure how customers respond to it using data and feedback. Finally, learn from this information and make improvements. This loop is repeated continuously to refine your product and strategy. Chapter 3. Validated Learning Validated learning is about making sure you're learning the right things. Instead of just working hard, focus on working smart. Use data and feedback to validate your assumptions and ensure you're heading in the right direction. This minimizes the risk of building something nobody wants. Chapter 4. Pivot or Persevere Startups often face tough decisions. Should you change your product, strategy, or both? This is called a pivot. On the other hand, sometimes it's better to keep going in the same direction, which is called perseverance. The key is to base this decision on what you've learned from your build, measure, learn cycles. Chapter 5. Lean Thinking in Action Riez provides practical examples of how the lean startup principles have been applied in various companies, from small startups to large organizations. These real-world stories illustrate how the methodology can work in different contexts. Chapter 6. Experimentation Experimentation is an important part of the lean startup. Instead of relying on gut feelings or assumptions, Startups should treat their ideas as hypotheses to be tested. By designing experiments and collecting data, you can make more informed decisions. Chapter 7. Build a Sustainable Business The ultimate goal of the lean startup is not just to create a product, but to build a sustainable business. Rias emphasizes the importance of focusing on the long-term viability of your startup and avoiding shortcuts that might lead to short-term success but long-term failure. Chapter 8. Innovate or Die Innovation is vital for a startup's survival. Ries explains that businesses that stop innovating can quickly become irrelevant. He encourages continuous innovation and adaptation to stay competitive in a rapidly changing world. Chapter 9. Conclusion. Build a Lean Startup The book concludes with a call to action. Rees urges entrepreneurs and innovators to embrace the lean startup methodology and apply its principles to increase their chances of success. He emphasizes that building a lean startup is a continuous journey of learning and improvement. Key lessons and practical insights. Number one, minimum viable product, MVP. The MVP is a central concept in the lean startup methodology. It allows startups to test their ideas quickly and efficiently while minimizing resources and time. Number two, customer-centric approach. Understanding the needs and preferences of customers through continuous engagement and feedback is crucial for product development and market fit. Number three, iterative learning. The build, measure, learn loops enable startups to continuously improve their products based on data and insights reducing the risk of building something that doesn't resonate with customers. Number four, pivoting. Pivoting is a strategic shift based on validated learning. It's a way to adapt to changing circumstances and increase the chances of success. Number five, actionable metrics. Startups should focus on metrics that provide actionable insights, 
helping them make informed decisions and measure progress effectively. Number six, cultivating a culture of experimentation. Encouraging experimentation and embracing failures as opportunities for learning is essential for innovation and growth. Number seven, resource efficiency. The Lean Startup methodology emphasizes resource efficiency and waste reduction, ensuring that startups use their limited resources wisely. In conclusion, The Lean Startup by Eric Ries offers a groundbreaking approach to entrepreneurship, emphasizing continuous learning, customer centricity, and adaptability. By following the principles outlined in the book, startups can navigate the uncertain waters of innovation more effectively and increase their chances of building successful, sustainable businesses. Reese's methodology has had a profound impact on the startup world and continues to be a guiding light for aspiring entrepreneurs seeking a systematic and data-driven approach to launching and growing their ventures.